guys, what's going on? It's the Midwest Prepper here. Today I am going to be bringing you guys a really nice video that's going to show you how to build a pretty inexpensive, actually, under $60 for this grow light along with the PVC stand step-by-step -step tutorial. Um, this is really the next step in your seed starting you know, business. Um, first though, if you haven't watched my really good step-by-step -step tutorial guide on how to start your seeds, it's going to be right here on the screen. Click on that, it'll open up into a wonderful new tab for you so then you can watch it later or you can go ahead and then watch that first and then come back to this after. This is just the beginning of, of the season guys. This is, it, it's, it's a wonderful process that I'm going through with you guys. And I think that we're all going to really benefit from this. It's a learning process. So really, this guide is going to be awesome for you guys. It's, it's going to show you the different types of light bulbs to use, the, you know, how to really build this. And there's not very many people who have the knowledge that I have to give to you guys. So I hope you guys really do enjoy this little series that I'm doing. Okay, so our first thing to go over is light bulbs. Now I've seen a lot of people talk about light bulbs, full spectrum, broad spectrum light bulbs. They're like 50 bucks for a T8 and it's just ridiculous. That is all a scam. Get that out of your head now. Doof. Done. Get it out. Listen to me. Okay. Trust me on this. I know. I've done hours of research. The thing is, is people want to go and jump to the conclusion that, that they need a specific grow light, like a red one or a blue one or you know whatever, purple, that doesn't matter. What you need is a 6500 Kelvin, anywhere in the range of 4500 to 6500 Kelvin temperature. That is a true daylight spectrum at high noon. This is all facts. All this will be down in the description below for you guys to also check out and then cross-reference as well. This was $8 for a two-pack. $8 for a two-pack. And I, myself, was, was going to buy some T8s. Or, are these T8s? Yeah, these are T8s. Off of Amazon for like 35 bucks, right? Just don't do it. Because for one, they don't last as long. as, And all it is is just a tube cover that makes it look like that color. Those people are getting so rich on this, it's just ridiculous. They're screwing you all. So trust me, this is a bulb that you need. $8 from Lowe's. Go and check it out. You can get all your stuff there. Real simple, just go in there. It took me about 25, 35 minutes, and I got all the stuff that I needed for under 60 bucks. Okay, so let's take a quick little look here at the plants right now. These are sage, dill, and I got a bunch of little plants in here, thyme, uh, basil, tobacco I got growing right here and as you can tell all those are leaning to the left hand side because that's where the window is and now most people just turn it about 45 degrees about every three hours to you know kinda get it to where it's in a spiraling up motion but really you guys this is the best way to do this obviously this is why you guys are watching the video this will produce much more light and intensity straight down on it instead of to the side to where the plants will grow to the side so whenever you plant them out there it won't look weird and uh, it actually start growing much much better whenever you do this so usually people put it about this high you know above your tallest plants about three inches or four inches above your your tallest plants and that's if you have a four bulb um, light which you know, it's okay, but they're about $45 for the cheapest one that I could find. Um, and really, you know, that is the best way to go, but you will spend about 100 bucks if you go that route. Um, this one here is a Utilitech. It's a four foot long, and it's a two light shop light. But paired with the 6500K bulbs, it becomes a, you guessed it, a grow light and this is a cheap grow light this I, this light here was a uh, I think 19 bucks or so okay so for this uh, all of the instructions along with 
uh, you know, material list, etc. will all be down in the description below. So just scroll down and then click show more and it, it'll start showing that stuff up for you guys. But basically, it's pretty simple. Um, you just need some, some uh, 90 degree angles, some of these T's like they call them. Um, the PVC piping that we will be using is one and a quarter inch and one inch piping. Uh, preferably get two of each, two 10 footers, but uh, one is suffice. So that just depends on how many of them you want to really make, but you really only need one of each for this. Um, as you can tell here, I've, I've already started. Um, sorry that I've started without you guys, but I've actually finished it. And um, I will actually show you guys that now. This is one of the different styles that I will be making. And I will break them all down for you guys and show them exactly how they, they are done. But uh, so far, actually, it's only been... Um, let's see, about three or four hours today I've had this light on, and the plants are already straight up, so which means that it's working, uh, it is working. These are those little holes there, see if I can zoom in on those. Those little holes allow for you to move them up and down, move the entire thing up and down, along with the chains as well. You can take and put those, those chains and pull them up, so it'll give you a little bit extra reach on that. But I will um, take this one apart and then show you guys all the little uh, different sections to it. Okay, so I am wearing a different color shirt today because it is uh, the next day. So um, this right here is one of the sections. And this right here is the um, adjustable size. And basically I just took, just a, I think this is a three inch, uh, quarter inch like little bolt. And uh, this is the one inch tubing. PVC and this is the one and a quarter inch tubing here. I'll bring up a little close up here. Those holes are spread out every inch. So it, it's really, really adjustable. Let's see if I can look down in it. Oh, it's hard. Okay, there you go. This is just a basic little design here. Um, the other one that I will also be showing you, I'm actually going to build it out of this one. Um, is a double, a dual light, and you could also just use this one and then get one bigger light with like four bulbs on it. That will do you just fine. Uh, but with me, I go the cheap way and I want two lights on it. So for, you know, adjustability and stuff like that, so I can uh, adjust to, to different heights if I need to. Um, you take this and then you just put another section on here with another T and it's, it's really simple. I'll show you guys once I get done showing you guys about this. Um, I, all these um, links will be in the description down below. And here, this is the longer pole that you saw the light hanging on. Um, <laughs> these are not, these eye bolts are not very straight, but they'll work for what you need it for. Um, the eye bolts, I think, were like a dollar a piece, and it comes with a nut up on top. Um, I didn't need a washer since it's nothing that's really going to be needed for. You just have to make sure that it's, it's taut and that tight. Um, I used Hacksaw on this, my Hacksaw, and it actually worked out pretty good. But if, if you guys did have a compound miter saw, or just just compound saw, it's not even really worth having a compound miter saw. Um, just a, much, much straighter cuts, but it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, nobody's going to really see it unless they take it apart. Um, and that is basically all that there is to it, but there's one other thing here I wanted to show you guys. Here's the adjustable part and here's the holes on the one and a half inch tubing. And I figured, um, my first one I kind of made a little bit of a mistake and I just, I drew a hole for each hole that was in the slot here and that you don't really need to do that. You just need to do like one maybe two you know if you want to put like an extra bolt in there but be sure that every hole matches up so just run your drill through a couple times and you'll be good to go because if not then it, it's a lot harder to get it in there if you're in a different hole that's what she said also none of these parts are glued together uh, i thought at first that i may need to glue them all together because it may be loose Actually, you really don't have to. Um, I guess if you go on like a grand scale and start selling these things, maybe you want them a little bit higher quality. So you can go ahead and do that. Or you can just sell it as like a kit where you can be like, oh, well, you know, you can put two of these together and then you get a double light, uh, you know, grow light fixture and stand, stuff like that. So maybe that's, you know, something that you may want to look into, you know, actually building these and selling them for 
a hundred bucks because they cost like sixty bucks. You can sell them for hundred fifty bucks and make your money back. You know, almost three. Uh, you know, three times fold, which is pretty good. I'm an entrepreneur by heart, so uh, I uh, actually, whenever I got done building this and what I showed you guys in there, I actually did a Snapchat and uh, on all my you know friends and it was like, hey, 100 bucks, wanna buy it, I'll sell it to you. So, I mean, little things like that. You can also put this on the Pinterest too. I'm sure you can get some hits off of that. So as you can tell there, it just took, you know, less than 30 seconds to put that up there if I wasn't talking. Okay, so, I mean, this is kind of how I do it. Sharpie, real simple. I just take my little tape measure. You could even use a, uh, you know, a ruler if you wanted to. But you just take, and to extend it out to make it a, a double light, I'm just going to mark it there at 10. Take it out. And if you had somebody like a, you know, your kid or significant other, you know, you can take them and also help them or have them hold it for you. But I'm just gonna do it my way because I can. Okay, so since we're going this route with the uh, two light fixture, uh, it's not really necessary, but I, I want to put in a little T here so it kind of it pushes it together so it doesn't wobble or anything. You know, someone touches it or. It, you know, hits it side by side. Yeah, I don't want it to fall over. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take these out of here and then make a nice cut here, right here in the center and then put the T's together. Okay, so here's where precise measurements start coming into effect here. Uh, between here and the other pole is 10 inches and in that middle PVC pipe that you see right, right down there. So I have to make one that's pretty close to 10 inches because if not, then it'll either bow out or, you know, cave in and it won't really look that good. Now with the quarter inch bolts, these are not um, going to be able to fit well if you did drill them in quarter inch. So go like 5 16 or 3 8 you know, something that'll give it a little, a little bit more wiggle room but still won't be too loose. I do suggest pre-drilling these though to a quarter inch before you start to do anything bigger than 5 sixteenths. Take your hacksaw. Boom. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see this, but now we're just going to take our sharpie here and just line it up wherever we want to. But we want to do the bottom one, then maybe a few up from there. And do this one, and I'll do the same on the other side as well. Boom. Okay, well, I told you guys to do it, but I didn't do it. See that? Crack the damn thing. But you know what? This time I'm gonna go a little bit slower. That took about, I don't know, a total of two hours uh, after I bought all the stuff. That includes buying this stuff. It took about 30 minutes, so about an hour, hour and a half to really complete this all. Not bad. A total of 65 bucks. That's with the extra one here. That's why it costs so much. That, and I also had to buy that hacksaw as well. So if you, if you have those things, it's really fairly cheap. Well, there you go, guys. This is my step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build a grow light fixture. And with the stand, and this is a dual light, and the other one was a single light. So thank you for watching, and have a nice day.